In this video, we're going to use StatCrunch to practice finding areas given z-scores. Let me click on a similar question here. I'm going to get more help. Open StatCrunch. Skip that over a little bit. I'm going to go to Stat, Calculators, Normal. And there it is. Now, for this particular problem, we are looking to find the shaded, uh, the shaded area it's to the right of a z-score of 1.48, so I need to make sure I switch this. It needs to be pointing to the right. Greater than or equal to 1.48. Hit enter or tap compute, and you're going to get your area. And ours, uh, let's see. I'm just going to copy and paste it because it's already, I don't need to do any rounding up. Oh, don't forget the decimal. Let's see, let's do another one. How about, how about this one? So if you have an area between two z-scores, same process, open up StatCrunch and open up the normal calculator. And then instead of it being on standard, switch it to between and just type in the two z-scores. Rs are zero and 2.42, enter, and there it is. I'm going to have to round this, round to four decimal places. I'm going to get 0 0.4830. All right, let's do another one. Another question. All right, so this one is asking us for the area of the probability that Z is greater than negative 0 0.57. I'll go back to stat crunch. I'm not doing a between. I just have one Z score, so I'll go back to standard. And the symbol is the, facing the correct direction, looking for greater than. Just make sure I type in negative 0 0.57. Don't forget negatives. And here's our area. Looks like I'm going to get 0 0.7157 if I round that to 0 0.157. Let's see if we have any more on here. Try. Let's try this one, a similar question. And what I'm doing here, doing similar questions, this is something you can do as well to, to practice. Um, if you are not super comfortable with the material, I highly suggest doing similar questions, continue getting more practice. You, you will never run out of practice problems and keep doing it until you, you feel like you start to get it. That's, that's how I learned and, and it can be a very helpful tool. And that's, that's why they give you the similar problem option. It's not just for when you don't get it right. It's, it's so you can keep practicing, you can keep learning. All right, back to this question. So the area to the left of a Z of 0 0.53, left. Make sure your symbol points left. Left is less than 0.53, enter. And it looks like we got 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.70.9. And there we go. Let's see one more. Do a similar question. Let's go back into stack crunch. And we want the area this time to the right. So my symbol should point to the right, greater than or, or equal to. And my z score is 1.26. Enter 0 0.1038. Um, yeah, let's do one more for the heck of it. So this one is a between, it looks like, says the area between Z of zero and Z of 2.84. So make sure you go back to the between and you just type in the two Z squares you're given. Smaller one first, bigger one second. Usually they're given to you in that order, so just keep them in the order they're given to you. Looks like our area is right there. I'm just copying and pasting, because why not? What the, what the heck? I said one more, but I lied. Let's do, let's do this one too. This is another between. We have two z scores, negative one point six two, and positive one point six two. Enter. And what do we get? I'm gonna have to round this one. Uh, point eight nine four eight. Eight nine four eight eight. There we go. 
Okay, I think I think we've done plenty. Uh, I would I would suggest you go ahead and practice this yourself as well. Remember what I what I did to get Stat Crunch to open up is I just I just had to click on Get More Help Stat Crunch, and I clicked when I was in Stat Crunch just to review. You can rewind the video too. Um, like Stat Calculators Normal. So that's what we're doing, and there it is. Remember, if you have just one Z score, you have it's, that's the default. If you have two, click on between and you can find areas matching these scores. 